Well, Cruzman, I think one thing that's definitely certain here is you redeemed all the people that failed throughout the competitions in this category. You came out, you came strong with real strong traditional elements. It is busy, man. You crammed as much as you could in there, but it's bulletproof, and it is a solid tattoo. Today, you must prove your mastery of technical application by tattooing the sternum. This painful and sensitive area of the body makes it an extremely difficult place to tattoo. Your application must be perfect. The skin on the sternum is super thin, and it's really easy to create blowouts or cause trauma. And for the canvas, it sucks pain-wise. The sternum is the gateway to your heart. This low line that you have right here is what we would consider the sternum. We want to see the center of the concentration of the tattoo there. Good luck. I'm gonna be nitpicky, bro. I want you to be nitpicky. You gotta do this. I am the only one on my team that hasn't won Tattoo of the Day yet. I definitely need to win it right now. Don't forget what you're here for. I'm here for my people of Puerto Rico. You know, I love them with all my heart. Put tears in my eyes every time I mention them, you know it. I'm representing my country. Today, I wanna give something to my people of Puerto Rico to be proud of. I wanna bring hope back to them. Yeah, man. And now is my chance. It's closer than ever. I want to win Mejor Tatuaje del Día for Puerto Rico. Today, you had to perfectly apply a sternum tattoo. One. It's a really impressive piece of work. You have so much texture and detail in the heart itself. The clouds are very simplistic. I like how that juxtaposition looks old school, but it is unique at the same time. It's bold, it's heavy, and it looks like it belongs exactly where it sits. And it has a density and a weight to it. You could hold this thing, you could punch this thing. It's bulletproof. All right, guys, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. For technical application, just how simple and how smooth Rolly's is, I mean, there's not a lot of variance in there. I think it's pretty clean. I look at that, and then I look at Juan coming in and doing pretty much the same technical application with a lot more in it. Going for Juan. It's hard to argue with that heart. There's a lot in there that's bulletproof. My vote is for Juan. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Juan. What? First win, Juan. Man. How does it feel? It feels amazing, like a million bucks, man. OK, Gian and Nate, this is your last chance to earn a spot in the live finale by tattooing a new school landmark. You have five hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. This is what I got, man. New school, Statue of Liberty. I like it. There's a lot of pressure on me right now. My family's counting on me. My wife is counting on me. I'm really nervous I'm not going to make it to the finale. I think on the side of the leg would be awesome. Exhaustion is definitely setting in, but this is the time to turn it on. This needs to be the best tattoo that I've ever done, or I'm going to be out of here. Just use like a little bit of tangerine and do it real washy. I'm really nervous about doing this design. I don't even know where to start. If you're nervous, like, go in really softly on some of the highlights. Kelly is showing me how she draws new school, and I'm listening to every little bit she's giving to me. Just to make that black look nice and rich. Just got a tattoo like it's the last day of my life to make sure I got a win. Where's her other boot? You gotta indicate that somewhere. I don't need somebody else around trying to mess up what I'm doing. I've been tattooing a lot longer than Kelly and Ryan, so I don't need somebody interrupting and giving me their two cents worth. How much, like, orange do you think you're going to put in? In that flame? In her. I don't know if I'm going to put any. You couldn't hear my eyebrows raising just now, but they did. The entire basis of New School is making things dynamic, and dynamic would also mean dynamic color play. Mm, not 100% sure on that. John and Nate, that is two hours left. Two hours, guys. Man, it's killing me right now. Leave yourself enough time to put that bright color in, OK? I'm throwing everything I got into this tattoo. I've never been to the bottom. Nate has been to the bottom so many times. He's trying to convince people that he's doing it on purpose. Bull Nate should go home and stick his strategy up his ass. Five, four, three. Two, one, that's it, machine's down. No more ink. Done, buddy. 
Whew, that was a workout, man. Today, you had to tattoo a new school landmark. One artist from Team Pet and one artist from Team Nunez are already in the finale. This was your last chance to earn the final spot. Gian, let's start with you. I really love this drawing. I really like the expression in her face. She has the typical new school big eyes, but the ending of the tattoo is my favorite part. The way that that piece of robe comes across and gives us that open, blowing shape is a very nice way to end the tattoo and keep it soft. All the little details really stand strong, like the fingers grasping the tablet, the little shadow from the top finger on the tablet, the shadow on the neck underneath the chin. You've taken a character, which is a statue, and you've put life into it. I love that. Thanks, man. Nate. I really do like what you came up with here. The face came out really nice. You have that detailed chain at the bottom breaking free, symbolizing freedom and liberty. It pops the little orange blast behind it, pushes the aqua forward. The line weight that you use over the top of the crown is really strong and really solid. You really punch the eyes in with those heavy lines. Thanks. Gian and Nate, one of you is headed to the live finale, and one of you is about to close shop. Judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. These are both bulletproof. For me, I love Gian's nose and lips. Nate has a nicer torch. More elaborate torch. I like Gian's flame a lot. That little bit of yellow highlight on the edge of the crown, I really think helps a lot. I was thinking about it, but my torch is more behind her. What's going on, Kelly? We're making a little face over there. What are you thinking? I really wanted to see that highlight, too. She was telling me to do it, but I mean, I just, I didn't. They are two great tattoos that are very similar, but the most life that I get out of both of them is Gian's. My vote is for Gian as well. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Gian. Congratulations, buddy. You are headed to the live finale. Amazing. Today, you must create a portrait tattoo. Remember, we're testing precision. If your tattoo doesn't look like the picture, you'll be packing. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's do this, man. So are you partial to color or black and white? My son's eyes are just such a killer blue. We have to do it in color. OK. If I was the only color portrait and I nailed it, that would be amazing. You do like killer color. But the guest judge is a black and gray portrait master. Am I going to be shooting myself in the foot if I do this in color? This is a huge risk. I just see this bright, vibrant, colorful kid. I'm pretty much open to color or black and white. I can rock equally. If there's anything that's going to shoot you in the foot, it's doing it in color. In this competition, that's the one thing that shot you in the foot every time, is you being like, I'm going to do this, and sparkles, and twinkles, and blah, blah, blah. And then you don't quite nail it, and then that's what ends up getting you. I'm just trying to figure out what would serve me best in the competition. Best in the competition is to play it safe. My canvas wants to get this tattoo in color, but the guest judge is Bob Tyrell. He is a black and gray portrait master. She wants it in color. Well, you want to win? I want to win. You trying to wow him? You trying to survive? I and wow them. If you can pull off color and make it look real, that totally blows away black and gray. I want to give my client what she wants, but it's a huge risk. And the more that I think about it, the more nervous I get. I love it if I change your plan. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right. I would love to rock a colored portrait. Okay. But if I do that, all right, like we're gonna get room to do ass. I do colored portraits all the time, but the judges all love black and gray more than color. This is $100,000, and I would feel a lot more comfortable if we were doing this in black and gray. So are you cool with this direction? I mean, I don't mind it in black and white. I don't. You can still capture him in it. Yes. I'm going to duplicate this photo down to the very stitch in her child's shirt. I am going to show the judges how precise I can be. Oh, Sarah, that's amazing. That's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. This week, we asked you to create a portrait tattoo. We're testing precision. Sarah. Kids can be tricky. There's not a whole lot of wrinkles and dimensions. It doesn't necessarily have to be wrinkles in order to add character. Honestly, I kind of like doing kid portraits. This tattoo is amazing. The face, you nailed his character. The likeness is totally there. I like how you went with the shadow underneath the chin. You went a little bit lighter. It kind of brings out the edge of the chin, which was a good call. It's awesome. 
doing this in black and gray, you gave yourself the time to really make it nice. Very precise with all the details. Well, you guys wanted to see precision. Most people would have been lucky to pull off the face, but not very many people could have pulled off that shirt. It's a very good job. I love the hair because I love the dimension. I love the layers. It literally looks like you can see the kid's haircut. This is definitely your best tattoo up here. Thank you, guys. The judges have decided that the tattoo of the day to Sarah. Sarah, we all loved your tattoo. It's as good as portraits get. The shirt's amazing. The hair is amazing. Well done. You are the last four artists standing. Yes, it is four. Wow. Each of you entered this competition with either your master or your apprentice, and each of you sent them packing. Now, only three of you will move on to the live finale. Crazy. To make it to the end, you must first survive a tattoo marathon. What? Each of you must tattoo four different designs in four different styles. What? What are we gonna have to tattoo for 24 hours straight? I'm beat down, man. This is nuts. Next up, everybody tattoos Craig's new school design. We're gonna do a popsicle today. Ah, freaking popsicle. You have 90 minutes, and your time begins now. I draw a lot of new school, but it usually ends up being more like animals and stuff. Coming off the mandala, I'm really excited to go into this popsicle. I know that I'm going to kill this tattoo and probably do a better job than Craig. Time is up. No more ink. High five. This week, you had to prove your endurance and versatility in a tattoo marathon. A trip to the live finale is on the line. Let's see how you did. Matt. The color in this is really strong, really saturated. And I'll really commend you on just the outline on the outside of this. Really perfect, bold outline that's consistent all the way around. The thing's bulletproof. For overall versatility, Matt came out. The judges have decided the winner of the tattoo marathon is Matt. Well, Matt, that is not all. You've also earned your spot in the live finale. Congratulations. Yes. How's it feel, big fella? Feels great. That's awesome. I couldn't be any more stoked right now. Welcome to the big show. Artists, you have six hours to create a cross-stitch tattoo. And your time starts now. Good man. Put my hair up. Good luck. Good luck. Duffy and Sausage are two competitors that have great bedside manner with their canvases. She wants to do a sternum underneath here. It's like an array of flowers kind of getting smaller. The smaller you get with your little details and stuff, the more it's going to end up being like an X. We're hoping that they reflect that on the artists that are here competing today. You know, it'd be kind of neat, almost like a border, like to do your outline, like not up against the cross hatch, but to let it breathe a little bit with a little space. Like, I'm going to do like a lot of skin showing. Yeah. Because cross stitch is an odd ask, these coaches have to really guide these artists. See if it looks straight. I have two tiny tattoos, but I literally just don't feel anything, like anything at all. <laughs> well, if they were trying to get me, complete backfire. Flowers worked in my favor because when you see something cross stitch on like a pillow or something, it's a flower. So I think it looks like your grandma's actual cross stitch piece. Yours definitely looks very cross stitchy. It does? Yeah. You met the challenge, bitch. I just, that's what I want to do. You yeah. Know? Just do what I'm told. The more tattoos we do and the more chances I get to show things that nobody has seen me do, it's starting to hit people that I might be a decent threat in this competition. I'm slowly learning that cross stitch is not my style. So, crossed off. <laughs> Today, you had to prove your consistency by creating a cross-stitch tattoo. Danny. I'm gonna tell you that I hate this tattoo because people are gonna want this shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> This is a really solid applied tattoo. Less is more. The color is actually applied consistently from the beginning of the line to the end. You did a great job on this tattoo. Thank you. And for this elimination tattoo, you must tattoo a classic symbol of the passage of time, an hourglass. Your canvases today want meaningful images incorporated into their hourglass tattoos. You must use detail to make these images work within the body of the hourglass. Detail is 
so difficult on an hourglass tattoo. You need to make the glass look shiny. You need to make the sand look like it's grainy. That takes teeny tiny little textures. So much can go wrong. Looks awesome. It looks great. I want to get the feathers done and then go in and start detailing okay. it. The better I feel about this tattoo, the worse I feel for our alliance. It's obvious I couldn't save them during this skull pick. If they don't pull through, I could be sending one of my girls home. Today, you had to tattoo a detailed hourglass. Let's see how you did. Ryan, you're up first. When I heard the canvas's request, I wasn't sure how you were going to get it together, but you killed it. The detail in the hourglass, the detail in the feathers. Detail is the word of the day, and you definitely killed it. This tattoo has detail all the way throughout it, the cracks and the weathering of the skull. And then also, your transition from the sand to this skull was really well done. You have a lot of creativity, and your drawings are fun to look at. You're definitely pushing harder artistically than a lot of people in the room. Time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I like Ryan's tattoo the most. It's the best tattoo that I've seen today, especially from a detail standpoint. I vote for Ryan as well. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Ryan. Congratulations. Thank you. This week, we're testing ingenuity. Today, your canvases are counting on you to fix one of the biggest mistakes of their lives. <laughs> by covering up a constant source of shame. A hate tattoo. I got a swastika and iron cross. I want to get done, wrong part of my life. Now I know where I'm at, and I want to go. Any ideas what you want to do? Maybe or? like a zombie nurse, cemetery scene. Right. Just, right. I got to get it out of there. I got kids, and my kids hate it. Mm. Please do not give me a swastika. That says white power. At one point in this guy's life, he hated me. Canvases, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Anthony. I don't know if James is testing me with the hate or the tattoo. Damn. I can't let it get to me. I need to keep my composure so I stay focused. Today, these are just going to be covering up hate tattoos. They really have to put everything aside and do the best cover up they possibly can. What's going on? What's the story behind that? I was just brainwashed when I was younger. Yeah, and when I got older and had kids, I realized, man, what the hell? I'm trying to do a 360. Well, I'd love to help, man. That's oh, what yeah, I'm I appreciate that. Right, right on. Ingenuity is always going to play into the cover up. You should never be able to pick out a section where you know the cover up is. That's the biggest fail. I've been trying to get rid of about 20 years, man. When I first got a tattoo, I was like 13, 14 years old. I'm like an idiot joining the Aryan Brotherhood. That ain't cool. That's not where I want to be. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're red, black, brown, yellow, green, whatever. Unfortunately, I've been a victim of hate. When I was wanting to get an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo, I was told that the color of my skin was going to hinder my chances. To be a minority, it's actually driving me even more to do a killer job. So how'd you get rid of the swasty? I put a little chinger in the gravestone, burying the past, so it's perfect. Can't wait for all the stress to go off my shoulders. To be able to help this guy change his life is a complete honor. There ain't nobody going to beat this one. Let them know how it's done. Today, you had to show ingenuity by covering a hate tattoo. Anthony. You have so many nice details in the hair. You have really fine, fine lines. You create this kind of ratty feeling, but it still shows perfect line work in there. This thing really, really shows strong today. You did a great job. All right, judges, time to choose who had the best tattoo of the day. 100% bulletproof cover-up. Anthony's tattoo gets it. I love the high definition of Anthony's tattoo, but it does look like a weird composite that's not realized. Not for me. For me, everything about the tattoo, especially the cover-up area itself, is executed so well and so precise. I love James's tattoo, but he had some hiccups in the line work, and I really couldn't pick too much apart about Anthony. I need a final decision. Anthony. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Anthony. You'll have six hours to tattoo, combining the style and subject to create one solid piece that proves that you can handle whatever comes your way. Man. Head to your shops and meet your canvases. As of this point in the competition, there is no secured spot for the top three artists that are going to the finale. I got to do a new school tiger. These guys are under the microscope. These tattoos have to be perfect. I feel like I've done really, done really well. 
so far. I've been the front runner in this whole entire competition. This is my wheelhouse right here. Clean Rock won, going to the finale, hands down. I got my eye on the prize, you know. This week, you had to prove that you could take on any challenge and persevere. A trip to the live finale is on the line. Clean, let's start with you. You pulled the new school tiger. I've been doing this style for 15 years. I tried to bring every trick I had in my bag on this one. Your lines, super crisp. Your black, solid. You got some great little details in the gums and the teeth and the tongue. Your blends from orange to yellow and from blue to white. Seamless, man. Thank you. Judges, who had the best tattoo of the day? When you really look at Clean's tattoo, there's tricks in the tongue, there's tricks in the gums, there's smooth blending, there's a strong outline. Final decision, Clean. Clean. The judges have decided, Clean, you have the best tattoo of the day. But that's not all. You have also earned your spot in the live finale. The overall body of work and the consistency, I don't think anybody can deny the fact that you're a solid tattooer, and that's what it took to get to this spot. Oh my god. Is this for real right now? You're going, man. Congratulations. I'm happy for you, and I'm glad to see a strong tattooer in the finale. This week, there is no flash challenge. <clears throat> Go right to do it. You'll be judged on all of the essential skills an Ink Master must possess. Throughout the entire competition, you have competed with or against one another, learning each other's strengths and weaknesses. Ready. It's time to use that information against each other, because today, you have the power to sabotage another artist. Oh. You will each create a six-hour line drawing. The artist you call out must tattoo your line drawing, and you must tattoo the line drawing of the artist who calls you out. <laughs> Today, these artists, they are going to be judged on both the design and the tattoo that they do. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. If you do a great tattoo, but you do a drawing, you just took yourself out of the wind. Did you give me all this line work on purpose? Oh, you know I did. I sacrificed a lot growing up so that I could chase this dream of racing professional motocross and supercross, and it has taught me a lot. Not to F you over. Oh, no, I got that how to be mentally prepared for anything. You can't be afraid of somebody that's better than you at the track. Yeah, dude, you're killing it. You're doing this exactly the way I wanted it to be done. I have that mental strength that a lot of people do not have. I've been training for this my whole life, and I didn't even know it. Today, you had to tattoo another artist's line drawing. Three of you will be moving on to the finale, and one of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Tiffer, you're next. You got called out by Tony and had to tattoo his line drawing. I love what you did. I love the tones, the blue face, the way that you're able to punch these blues in and use that stronger, contrasted, deeper blue in the nose and recess the edges of the nose to bring that mouth forward. That skin break on the cheeks is in the right spot. Shouldn't that be a higher? It's not realistic. The way it's lit is weird. But you're looking at it from a realistic standpoint, and that's the stylized, neo-traditional. Overall, for a sticker tattoo, this is a banger. I think that's as bulletproof as bulletproof tattoos can get. <laughs> the judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Tiffer. Thank you. If Chris and Matt think that they can take me out at this point, they are fooling themselves. I'm taking home the $100,000. You might as well write me the check right now. Wow. My main goal is to show everybody a good, solid, traditional tattoo. You get pumped with adrenaline right now, huh? And we'll call it a day, cool? We got a ton accomplished today for sure. I'll uh, see you in three weeks. Three weeks, yep, I'll be here. Hey, what's up, Dave? Unfortunately, due to a family emergency, your master canvas will not be returning to finish up. Oh my god, um, you gotta be kidding me, dude. I wanna punch a wall right now. The best thing that I can do is provide you with a brand new canvas, which means you'd have to get started from this is bull Nice to meet you, Cruzman. Jason. Dude, thank you so much for coming. The chances of me getting this outline in just as perfect on the second guy are slim to none, man. This 
is definitely the scariest tattoo I've ever done. I don't think you're gonna lose it. You have the win in the bag. It is time for an American traditional tattoo to win the title of Ink Master. All right, Cruzman, let's see your master canvas, buddy. Drop it like it's hot. Well, I decided to go with an American traditional tattoo because I feel like at this point in the game, it would have been foolish for me to go with something I wasn't familiar with. These tattoos stand the test of time. This is a hand-drawn tattoo. It's not a Google image. Uh, it's built to last, man, and I'm super pumped on this thing. I'd wear it myself. Well, Cruzman, I think one thing that's definitely certain here is you redeemed all the people that failed throughout the competitions in this category. You came out, you came strong with real strong traditional elements. It is busy, man. You crammed as much as you could in there, but it's bulletproof and it is a solid tattoo. All right, guys, here we go. The judges have decided. Cruzman, you do. Ah! 